24 lucky teams will head to the Uni Dome for the state semifinals. In 4A, we've got the Southeast Polk Rams who got into the playoffs as the last seed and are now heading to the Dome. Meanwhile, Dowling Catholic looks to take home the hardware for the sixth season in a row. It's an awesome feeling, you know, uh, every team wants to get there. It's a great honor to be there. It feels great. <laughs> As a senior, it feels great to be there one last time or maybe one other time. That's the best part. The kids are so happy. Uh, you can't ever take that for granted. It's hard to get there. And, you know, our kids have had that good fortune recently, but it's difficult. Belief is pretty powerful. You know, we talked before the game, and uh, um, a lot of a lot of teenagers would have kind of folded up shop at one and five. Everybody kind of counted us out. So going into Ankeny Centennial, they thought we were just going to roll over. I think our kids finally just believe they can go win. I think we have more to prove, and I guess we'll just see you next week. Mm, it's going to be so much fun in the Dome. Southeast Polk, they'll square off with Cedar Falls on Friday. Dowling Catholic will meet up with Bettendorf. Over in 2A, undefeated Prairie City Monroe faces West Liberty. Another undefeated in Class 1A, Van Meter will play West Sioux. Van Meter, of course, the defending champions. Pella Christian meets up with Dyke New Hartford. And then over an eight-player, Southeast Warren making their first appearance in the Dome. They'll play Rockford.